welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. Okay, so I love to go and get makeup for good prices. I love to go to Ross and TJ Maxx and the cosmetic company store and Marshalls, and I love to get makeup and skincare and fragrance for good prices. So that is something that I do as one of my kind of videos that I do on this channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, then consider subscribing to my channel because that is what this video is about to be about. And keep watching because this is about to be a Ross makeup and fragrance haul. I'm looking at my stuff. <laughs> this is not just one trip to Ross. This took probably like three or four trips to get all of this stuff together. If you go to Ross, you don't usually find everything you want in one trip. Not every Ross has the same things and different Rosses have the way Rosses and, and TJ Maxx's and Marshalls works, they're, they're discount stores. And so um, they get makeup from other stores. You are lucky to find it and hopefully it won't be swatched. The thing about Ross though, is that Ross has their makeup and fragrances in these um, plastic containers and it makes it, it's a good and a bad thing. More good than bad though, because everything is locked up so you can't see it. You can't see the colors, you can't smell the fragrances, you can't anything. Although you can't smell the fragrances in TJ Maxx either because they're wrapped in plastic. But anyways, you just, you can't try anything because they're in these plastic locked containers, which is great because nothing is ever swatched, which is really good. But it also sometimes um, palettes, of eyeshadow palettes won't have the colors on them. So I just have my phone on me and I look at the palettes. I look at what the colors are. Or for fragrances, I look up the fragrance notes on my phone. So I do a lot of like research when I'm when I'm at Ross and, and kind of determine what I want. Um, but I think it's it's better that they're in these little safety boxes because nothing gets swatched. Whereas at Marshalls and um, TJ Maxx, it's a lot easier to get everything. Nothing is, is in these security locked boxes. But people go out and swatch things. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna touch this. I don't know, you know what? I don't know if it's just like children um, doing it to be children or if it's actual people like trying to swatch it and not realizing that that's not sanitary. I don't know what it is, but it's not sanitary. Whenever something is swatched, I don't buy it because not sanitary. So everything I have here is from Ross from a couple shopping trips. I got this Bite Beauty. It is the Agave Lip Tint Tin. And this luckily was not only on sale because it was at Ross, but it was in, in the reduced clearance. It is was, I don't know how much this was originally selling on Ulta. I uh, For all of these prices, I'll tell you the price I got it for at Ross, but uh, then after I, make this video and do my editing and whatnot. In the description box, I will go through and tell you what the retail value of all of these, if I can find it. That is another caveat to this video. A lot of these things that are at Ross and TJ Maxx are discontinued or um, like their holiday sales. And so you can't a lot of the time find some of the, Sometimes it's hard to find the retail price because they're discontinued or they're just for holiday. So I, if I can find the price, I will tell you the original price or a similar price. The best I can do, I will tell you. Um, but I have found that doing these videos have made me kind of discover that I'm getting a good deal. Every the, I think I've done three of these videos so far on my channel and every single time I have done better than the sale price. Like it'll be on sale on like Mark, I got some Marc Jacobs stuff and it was 50% off on Marc Jacobs website and on I think Sephora and Ulta, but I still got it for cheaper than that 50% off price. It wasn't a ton cheaper because I was thinking it was like the, it was the price that I was getting was off of the entire, the whole 100% retail price. So I thought I was doing better than I did, but I still, I still got better than the 50% off. So in all my time doing this, and let's hope that this time is the same, I've still gotten better than the sale prices at Ulta and Sephora and whatever the brand, the actual brand is, but I, it's, it, it usually isn't as good as I think it is. So that, that's a little caveat to learn from this. I've heard that Bite Beauty, their agave lips, used to be amazing. Like people swore by this formula and they changed the formula and people don't like it as much. 
I would assume that this is the new formula. And so that is why it's clearanced at Ross. It was $1.49. Did I say that? I don't know if I did. But it says the original was $4.99. So I think the original at Ross was $4.99. And then $1.49. So $1.40, I was like, even if this is the new not as good formula, $1.49 for a bite product? That is not, you know, you're not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. It says that it's tinted. Ooh, it is. It's just, it's right here. It's just a little bit tinted. Very pretty, I like that. I like that. So, I don't know. We'll see if I love it or hate it, but it was $1.49. Not really gonna hurt me if I hate it. Um, then I got some highlighters. So I got two and I don't need a ton more highlighters because I just did a highlighter declutter, but I like to try new highlighters. So that is, that's a problem. And it's a good thing that I decluttered so I can add these to my collection. Oops, um, so this is from Illamasqua and this is a brand that I heard about from FabFitFun, but I have heard some other content creators talk about Illamasqua and how they like it. Actually, Khaki Reviews Beauty, she did an entire video about Illamasqua and she really liked it. Um, so this was $4.99 and I feel like that is a really great price. It is the Beyond Powder Highlighter in the color Deity or Deity. It's really, really quite big too. Here it is. It's this really pearly champagne color. I'm really excited to use it. I, I, I love a pearly champagne-y highlight. So it's right, oh yeah, there it is. It's right there. Just a really pretty pearly highlight. I like it. And I think it shows up even prettier in the pan. It shows up that pearl. Okay, then from Lime Crime, I got this highlight palette. And this is, um, it has three different highlighters in it. And this is in the shade Mermaid. I have to admit to you, I saw this, saw mermaids and just went, this is coming with me. <laughs> Cause I love mermaids. I have a mermaid there. I have mermaids kind of all over my room. I just love, I love mermaids. I thought I was a mermaid when I was little. Anyways, I kind of was swindled into this one by the packaging and I'm okay with that. So it was originally, actually it was kind of pricey. This was $16.99 from Ross, which is kind of expensive. And if it weren't more mermaids, I probably wouldn't have got it. So yeah, I was swindled by the packaging. And look at these crazy highlights. Kind of crazy. <laughs> but I get I get swindled by, by mermaids. I do. Look, it has a, a mermaid tail and a bubble and a shell. I love this. Although I wonder if I, this is something I should give to my daughter because it is kind of, I feel like very childlike colors, but I don't know, we'll see. And I, ooh, actually it's swatching better than I thought. It came off like this like very effervescent, beautiful blue. Oh my gosh, that's prettier than I thought it would be. Okay, never mind. maybe I will keep that. The middle color is very um, neutral, normal. It looks like it's going to be like, it looks orange on my side um, in person, but it actually comes off very neutral. So this is my Elamasca one. Here is the blue one, here is that orangey one, and here's the purple one. Very pretty. These two are for like when I'm feeling adventurous and this one is for a normal day. I love, oh, and that blue is so much prettier than I thought it would be. I was just like, oh, it's a blue highlighter, you know, that's, but I feel like it is kind of this like smoky effervescent, I don't have the words to describe how pretty it is. It really is mermaidy. <laughs> it's really pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm really. Yes, I was swindled into getting this one, but I'm not unhappy with my purchase. I think it's beautiful. Okay, then some eyeshadows. So, um, PYT, which I don't know what that stands for. I feel like it should be pretty young thing, but I don't know if that is what it is standing for. And they re um, package, they re are redoing their packaging. So a lot of PYT products came to Ross because they are redoing their packaging. And this is a brand again, that Khaki Reviews Beauty um, talked about and she really liked it. This is the warm, warm day to night eyeshadow palette. So this was an entire eyeshadow palette for $7.99. And you can't really beat that, in my opinion. 
Ooh, I love it when it has, they have these instructions on them because uh, it just, it's nice to have instructions. You don't have to use them, but if you are a beginner, it's, it's nice to have that. So it talks about like a lid crease shade, a crease and contour shade. Oh, cause this is a face palette. This can be for your eyes and for your face, which is really nice. Oh, I love that, that it gives that explanation. So let me talk about that. So we have these two really big shades and then six smaller shades. So let's ex let's see if it can explain them. This one right here, this one is, is glowy and this one is matte. So the matte one is a lash to lid shade. So I think that that is more of a transition shade. So it's nice that they made it big because you're gonna use it all over your eyes or I do. And then we have the Moonlight Glow right here, and it is a lash to brow, so it can go all the way up to your, your, your eyebrow highlight. I like that. And then it is also a highlight shade. Beautiful. I love, I was just talking about in my like beauty fails, my makeup fails of 2021, that I don't love face palette but this is a face palette i can get behind because it's really it has everything in it i don't like face palettes that only have highlighters and blushes and and high, and contours or bronzers because then i also have to pull out an eyeshadow palette and but this has eyeshadow and a highlighter in it and um they also let's keep going what else then this oh it's upside down hold on okay so these three here are multifunctional. They're saying that these two can be, is it these two? I think these can be on uh, as like bronzer, bronzer or blush for those two. This is Simmer and it is a lid and crease shade plus contour. This is Crease, which is a crease shade. No, this, oh, Flicker. This is Flicker, which is a crease and a contour shade. Slow Burn, that right here, which is a outer corner lash line. Then you have these three, these three on the top here, which are later sunset and golden hour. And you have those three are just used for your eyeshadows or you can use them however you want. But I like this, that it's kind of an all in one because you could get um, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, highlight, transition. This could be a all in one palette for travel. That's really nice. And that was $8. My dog's right behind me, I almost stepped on her. Okay, <clears throat> then I got some single eyeshadows. So from Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs, I believe it's going out of business. I heard a while back that they were rebranding, but then I think I, met, I heard again that they were actually going out of business. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I'll do some research and find out, but this is in the shade Violet, but there's an explanation point in the middle of it. Interesting, but I love purple eyeshadow. So this was perfect. It is a gel innovation. It's an Omega shadow. And how cute is this box with the polka dots? I love polka dots. Boom. It's a, a like, it's like that blurple color. Cause it's, it's like a blue purple. Nice. So it's right here. That blurple really pretty. I'm really, and it's really soft. That went on and just, just glided right on. So pretty. Then I thought, when I went to Ross and found this, what I'm about to show you, I was like, I am the belle of the ball at Ross because I found Pat McGrath Labs. Pat McGrath at Ross. What? Okay, yes, it's only a single eyeshadow, but it's purple, which is my favorite color to wear on my eyes. It was $9.99. So the Marc Jacobs one was $5.99. So Marc Jacobs is going out of business. Pat McGrath is not. There's a difference. Pat McGrath is also like a luxury brand. I also hate this packaging. I love Pat McGrath. I hate, hate this packaging because you have to get scissors out. There isn't like a little pull tab or, or a little slice in it so that you can start it. And then it also has these little, these little sequins that get everywhere. I got it in the shade Purple Rain. Wow, that is stunning. Oh my gosh, that is so majestic. There it is right there. One swipe swatch on that one. Let's build it up a little bit. It is like a little bit metallic. Oh, it's so majestic. Okay, I love that. That's pr beautiful. Beautiful. I love it because they're both pretty different. That one has a lighter... They're both a blue purple. This one actually looks more of a red purple on 
to you on, on the camera, but they're both a blue purple, but this one is definitely lighter and this one is more, is richer. So I like that they're different. Bite Beauty. These were on sale at Sephora. I actually got the Bite Beauty Change Maker foundation on one of the sales. I got it in a shade that is kind of a summer shade, so I can't pull it out right now because it's in my summer situation. But this one, the only shade that they had was light one. So I haven't opened it yet. So let's see if it, if it works. I think that it should. It's, it's supposed to be, I think you can use it. It's a change maker, flexible coverage press powder. So it's flexible coverage. I believe you can use it either as a powder foundation or as a setting powder. Flexible, flexible. So whichever you want. And it comes with a little puff pad. Well, that's nice. That's nice. And this one was $7.99. It's a little light. So it's a little light. So this will probably have to be a setting powder for me. I don't think I can get away with that as a, I'm running out of space. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't get away with that as, actually, I don't know. I might be able to get away with it. Can you even see it? I don't know. We'll see. I guess I could try. I'll try it in both ways and see if I can make it work as a powder foundation or as a setting powder. But for the price of $7.99 for Bite Beauty, pretty happy. I got two Bite Beauty products on two very different occasions, like months apart. So pretty, pretty proud of that one. Pretty excited about it. No more makeup items. I got some nail polish. And I actually really like Revlon nail polish. Uh, one of my favorite, I, I really love green nail polish because <laughs> I have a hard time wearing green on my eyes. Green is my favorite color of all time. And I have a hard time wearing it for makeup because I feel like it doesn't offset my eyes and anyways, whatever. But I love wearing it as nail polish. So I have a Revlon green nail polish is right here. And I've been trying to search for like a perfect emerald green nail polish for a while. And it's harder than it looks to find. And this is actually kind of, I feel like more like a, a Kelly green, like a bluish Kelly green. But once it dries down on your nails, it comes up with this perfect emerald green. And it's perfect. And I love it. And so I really like Revlon nail polishes. And this was at Walmart for a couple bucks. So when I found this set here for $5.99 at Ross, I was like, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that this is my only color that I already have quite a few colors like this, this like melony pinky orange color. So uh, these three, I don't have anything like this one. Right, That one is kind of like a duochrome color. It's like um, gold to green. So pretty. And I don't actually have a lot of like bone gray, white, beige colors. I don't, it's probably because I don't know if I, I really actually like colors. I'm very colorful person. So I don't know if I would use those a lot. So really mostly I got it for these two, but still a good price. $6.99, $5.99 for four um, nail polishes. I'll probably give that one to my daughter and I'll probably keep this one still, but yeah. And then this one is a really pretty um, blurple again. It is blue and purple um, glitter. Anyways, just like it. I think it's really great. Nail polish. Okay. Then I got two fragrances. I got the Juicy Couture Couture Lala. I guess Juicy Couture. I think this is just like the original Juicy Couture, um, perfume. I, I think, I feel like everybody has already had this. Everybody who's everybody who has already tried Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture perfume. And was like, oh yeah, this was like my high school fragrance. And anybody who, like if I smell it, I'm reminded of high school. Um, I didn't have Juicy Couture in high school. I had Victoria's Secret um, Love Spell in high school. So that this was like too, too cool for me for high school. Although this was actually only $10. But I didn't know about getting nice fragrances at Ross in high school. It wasn't something I knew about. So maybe I could have worn it. Anyways, whatever. So, um, I'm just excited to get to try this because I really like fruity fragrances and I'm finally getting to try Juicy Couture and it's not the full size. So I've never smelled it. So I don't know. It's like a blind buy. I don't know if I'm going to love it. So it's only 0.5 ounces. So I thought it would be a good time to only spend $10 
for a little blind buy of Juicy Couture. And I have read the notes online and oh look how cute this little bottle is. It has a little charm. Well, that's adorable. Yep. So adorable. And you know, I can try it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I can give it away to one of my sisters or something like that. Oh, that's nice. It's very, it's very fruity. Definitely. It has almost like a little bit of like grapefruit to it. Hmm. I like that. It's very nice. It's very, um, I would say spring and summer appropriate. Then I have almost, oh, that was $9.99. I have almost all of Ariana Grande's fragrances. I love her fragrances. They're so sweet and candy smelling. And I just, I guess I really like smelling sweet and candy. I smell myself it on me and I'm like, mm, that smells so good. My favorite of all of hers right now is Cloud. None of hers that I've smelled so far have beat Cloud. I have four of Ariana Grande's other perfumes. And I saw this one at Ross for $20 and it is the one ounce size. And I was like, awesome, Moonlight. I've never tried this one, really want it. But caveat, Ulta doesn't even sell the one ounce. So it's hard to say what the price of the one ounce is. I'll probably be able to find it online somewhere. But I went to Walmart. Walmart sounds, sells Ariana Grande's perfumes. And they had, this was $19.99 at Ross. They had the 1.7 ounce at Walmart for $26. So I actually don't, I mean, I did okay. It's less than $26, but it's also smaller. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I didn't do as good as I thought I did. You know what I mean? So look for your fragrances at Walmart sometimes. They don't have like some of the really, really high end ones that you can get at Ross, but they do have some nice fragrances. They're like, you have to get a sales associate to help you open, like they have they have them locked away. So they're not just like in where you can grab everything. They, they're behind a, a locked glass door. But I mean, I could have gotten for $6 more, almost twice as much. Anyways, um, still, still it's gonna be, I'll, I'll put the retail price in my description box and show you what the deal that I got. So it's still less. It's just sometimes when I discover things and I find out I didn't do as well as I thought I did, it makes me slightly unhappy. So that is my Ross haul. Yay. Um, I'll add everything up in the description box for what the price would have been, what, how much I spent. And this was over several trips. Again, I didn't, I wasn't able to get all of this in one trip. Do you guys like seeing when I get makeup for good prices, like high quality makeup for good prices? That's my favorite. My favorite is to get high quality makeup for high prices. I don't like spending. I don't like buying things for the retail price. Why? Why would I do that when I can get it for lower? Okay, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to be notified of my videos, press the bell. And remember, most importantly, to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.